you're a very like sociable dude. And I remember last time we spoke, you mentioned that you did some like rogue things socially when you were in, in, in college. So I don't drink, I don't smoke. I've never been high, I've never been drunk. There's no way you're getting me to touch a cigarette. Psychedelics? Not psychedelics either. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Psychedelics, the way they are described to me is, you know, let's say this is the lens for the world. You get to look at the world from another angle. You shift it. It's like clicking a reset button. The thing is, I, I love how my brain functions. Like I'm so happy. I do not want to roll the dice and resetting it. So I'm 18 year old Cliff. You know, I'm just about to graduate high school. At this point in my life, I became obsessed with parkour. I, I got into university and so, you know, I could do less work in school and I would just spend like six hours a day doing parkour. And I started doing hack hackathons, got to Brown and Brown was ranked for eight years in a row the happiest school in the world. People were interesting and interested and for the first time, everybody was like someone I could learn something new from. It was a huge shift. And even though, you know, I went to like a, you know, a public high school in California, this was a very different environment. And so what I did is I would, <laughs> I would go to the dining hall and I very quickly realized the best thing about college is the people who are there, much more important than the classes. And I would have two dinners every single night. I would grab a plate. I would go to a table exactly like this. So you have eight people sitting at the table. I'd look for one that has six or seven people. He'd be like, hey, can I join you guys? What's your name? Ali, I'm Cliff. Nice to meet you. Can I grab a seat? Sure. How's it going? And then I'd talk to everybody in that table. I'd finish my food. At this point, I was trying to eat 3,000 calories a day. I'd get two more plates and I'd go and I'd sit at another table. And then I'd grab a cup of tea and I'd sit at another table. Actually, sorry, I had like three dinners a night. And I would do this for the first two months of every single semester. First semester, second semester. And I did this every year. So I got to know 60% of my freshman class uh, in the first two months. And then I got to know the class underneath and the class underneath. And I got to know a lot of the seniors and the juniors. And even when I graduated, I would fly back and I would crash on Valentine's couch. And I would do this again. Before I got to Brown, I knew that I did not want to drink. And I was like, cool. I got to make sure that I don't have any social inhibitions even without drinking. And, you know, I think right before that, I'd read the four hour work week for the first time and how to win friends. And so I combined the comfort challenges that Tim Ferriss suggests with the chapter about smiling uh, from Dale Carnegie's book. And so every time I'd walk down the street and someone big was walking across, I'd lock eyes with them and I'd flash a smile in their direction. And my goal was to get them to smile back. And the great thing about that is number one, you become very happy from this physiologically because if you smile, you know, your brain becomes, and then the other person is smiling at you genuinely. And I always play this game to this day, especially in airports. But I would go to like a coffee shop and I'd try to negotiate a 15% discount. I'd lie on the floor on a Starbucks for like 15 seconds, 20 seconds to give myself a timeout. I'd go to the mall and I'd ask out, you know, every person who walked by just to build the muscle. I got good at just not being shy. And so I'm the first person dancing on a table at any party. I just don't drink. 